Welcome everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrummy Quick Designs and today I have a special announcement from Cricut to share with you. Now, you know how we have all been wanting Cricut to give us a way to work with design space from our laptops or desktops offline. Guess what? It's about to happen and this is how you need to get involved and be able to use that feature. So, right now, when you use Design Space, you have to be on the internet and you need to and you go to your browser window and you type in design.cricut.com and that's how we all get to Design Space and our projects are all saved in the cloud, okay? That's how it works for everybody. Now, Cricut has developed a Design Space for Desktop Beta app that is available starting today and you need to download that onto your laptop or computer or you can do it on both. It's for Mac and PC users, and that will give you access to Design Space locally on your machine. You will still need to have internet access right now while you're using the app, but this is the first phase of the rollout to give you access to offline. So I'm encouraging everybody to go out there. It's on the Cricut blog. There's some information for you to read, and then there's the link for you to download. The download process is super simple. It walks you through, and it takes just a couple of seconds. So I want everybody who's watching this video to go do it today. Now, what's the advantage of having the desktop app right now if you still have to have the internet? One, it's going to allow your desktop or laptop to communicate easier, faster, smoother, however you want to describe it, with your Cricut Maker or Cricut Explore machines, okay? So that's going to be an advantage. I noticed immediately that everything was working a lot quicker and faster for me, particularly fonts where we're sometimes struggling with that a little bit. It worked great, okay? Also, uploading projects worked a lot faster. That's the first phase. Phase one is get that desktop beta app. So that means we're all beta testers for Cricut once you have that app. It will all be in beta mode through the end of the year, if not longer. You will have an opportunity to use it and provide feedback to Cricut. So in the home menu screen on the left hand side of your design space screen, you will scroll down to the bottom and there is a feedback link. If you're having any challenges when you're working in the app, you can post something in there for feedback and the developers will see that. And if it's an overall problem, they know to go ahead and start addressing it. Okay, so that's how you're going to communicate as a beta tester for Cricut in the new Design Space for Desktop Beta app. Okay, you have to have the app first, so get out there and download it. How are you going to get access to the offline feature? Starting in mid-September, Cricut will slowly start rolling out the offline feature to a group of users. It's going to be randomly selected and you have to have the desktop app to be able to use the offline feature. So that's step number one, get out there and download it. Once you've got it downloaded and you're using it, Cricut's going to pick a handful of customers that will get the offline feature first and then a few days later they'll roll it out to a few more people and a few days later they'll roll it out to more. Between now and the end of the year, everybody will eventually have the offline capability once they have the, the Design Space desktop beta app on their device. Now, how do you know if you have the offline capability once Cricut rolls it out to you? In the Design Space app, you will get a pop-up that tells you there's an update. Click on that, say yes, you wanna do the update. Once you do the update, the first project you save, instead of just saving it because it saves to the cloud, it's gonna give you two options. It's going to say, save it as cloud and computer, or just save it in the cloud. You wanna select cloud and computer. That's gonna set it as a default so that every time you design in the app, it's always going to save your projects as cloud and computer. Anything that you have saved in that mode will be able available to you when you're in the offline mode to be able to cut it out without the internet. What about those of you who have current projects that you'd like to mark in the offline mode? So right now, they're saved to the cloud. If you have one, let's say I have my um, pop-up box card that I have saved in, in the cloud in Design Space, but I want to be able to use it when I go camping in that RV. So I will go before I leave the house and I in my internet, I will go move that project to being saved as cloud and computer. So that way when I'm in offline mode, I would have access to it. There is no blanket, um, you know, save all my projects in this mode. You have to do it uh, on those existing projects. You have to do it 
individually, one at a time, okay? I know you guys are gonna ask that, so I wanted to make sure you knew that. As you're creating new projects, and you've selected cloud and computer that first time, it's gonna automatically save them that way for you. So that's helpful. So that's the first thing. Get out there, download that uh, app, start using the desktop version. You're gonna love it. It really is faster. The other thing is Cricut wants a better way to communicate with you guys when there's new updates in design space or there's um, outages or they need to do some maintenance on the Cricut shop or anything like that. So they have created a new Facebook page that they're calling, let me make sure I'm saying this right, Official Cricut Software News Facebook page. Okay, so anytime that they want to post something out there, think of it like a bulletin board. They're just going to post a communication out there giving you information. It is not a support desk. You still need to call support if you need if you have trouble and you need help. But um, it is a way for them to communicate with you. You can go out and read whatever articles that they posted. It's a great way for Cricut to communicate with you. So sometimes you're in design space and something funky's going on and you're like, is it them or is it me? Go check that page. See if there's some announcement out there that lets you know that, yeah, they know that there's a problem and they're working on it or whatever. So that's how they're going to communicate. And of course, they'll still be doing some of the uh, communication across the top screen on design space as well. But this will give you another resource for you to go look and see what's going on. Plus, of course, I will always tell you in my Facebook group. So come join us in Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group or my Cricut Maker with Debbie O'Neill Facebook group. Let me know if you have any questions. All the links are in the description of this video. Get out there, download that app, and I will talk to you guys later and happy crafting.